Hey y'all, it's Kimberly. Welcome to my channel, KD's Craft Corner, and I am KD, aka Kimberly. Um, this is another unboxing for Diamond Art Club. In this one, I have one wish list box and one new release box. Um, this re was released like last week, so I'm a little late getting this out. Um, hopefully I will get this posted this week so that I'm not actually saying that and it's actually two weeks ago when I ordered it. Anyway, as you can see, I have not even pulled the plastic off these because I am doing a marathon uh, videoing tonight and this is like, I guess, the one that I didn't go ahead and start pulling the plastic off of. Anyway, let's get that pre-tour a little bit so that we can get that off. Um, I'm going to show you the wish list one first and then we will come back and look at the other one. So I'm going to set it aside. Let's go ahead and get this open. Let's try to do this without shaking the camera too much because I am really, really good at that. Dump it out. Now this is not boxed like the newest ones yet. So this one has been around for a little while. And it does not have a sticker with it. So this is an older one. Which I knew it was an older one. But some of the older ones have been reprinted. So you can always hope that it will be one of the new ones. Excuse me a minute. I wet my whistle. This is a round if I am not mistaken. It is Mama Knows. Oh, it is a square. So this is one of the older squares that did not come with tweezers. It is a square with AB. It is 47 by 84. So it will be bigger than my table. So bear with me on that. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's some ABs sparkling at us right there. I push those over to the side. Let's open up the little Ziploc baggie so that we can see what came in it. You get your blue pen, your squishy which goes on your blue pen. You get your baggies. There's a three-placer. There's two heart waxes and your clear boat with a funnel. So that's what is in this square kit. Uh, the newer ones, you do get a pair of very sharp black tweezers with it. So we'll throw that aside. We're going to get these out of the way so that we can get this canvas open and have a look at it. Um, if you do not know Mama Knows, it is a Mandy Manzano, I believe. Yes, it is a Mandy Manzano. And it is, excuse me, it is a diamond painting of Game of Thrones. Mama with her dragons. And you can see there is a dragon right here. I believe he is having a little bit of a hard time seeing him because he's up close. But I think he's right here looking over her shoulder somewhere. There's one in her hand and then one in that hand. Uh, but I think this one is peeking around her shoulder. He's somewhere right in here. Let's see. This was before you got your little stickers. So here is your straight uh, little pamphlet. That's how it gives you their online information and then you flip it over and it gives you the nine step by steps uh, for how to diamond paint. Um, if it is a newer one, in case you didn't know, if it is a newer one, it is folded like this and inside right here is also a is always a little thank you for 10% off. But before you go using that, always have a look for your um packing slip in your box. This is my pack packing slip for my two diamond paintings right here. And down at the bottom right here in this little black thing for returning customers on your first one you won't get this, but for returning customers you get a 15% off code for your next order. I'm covering it up because this is my code. But anyway, you can use those um, codes and on your next one you get 15% off or if not if you get if you're getting a fairly new one and it comes with this folding one, you can get 10% off your next one, which that 10% code is in, printed in every single one of them. That's why I'm showing it to you. Uh, you can get that 10% off. Everybody can get that 10% off uh, as a thank you for returning 
but there she is in all her glory. Her dress is red and blue. Let's see, the ABs on this one are going to be, uh, looks like there's just one. It's going to be 129, number one. And number one is located in her face. It's going to be in her hair. Um, is it anywhere else? Like there's, yep, there's something stuck to my, carries like a little piece of fuzz or something. Um, uh, I'm not seeing any other ones. Just scattered throughout her hair, and then some on her face, like outlining her face, and on her eyes, and a little bit right here. It's kind of like it almost looks like the sun is coming down on her and so it's making it glow in certain places on her blonde hair and across her face and everything or you can almost imagine the sun is like coming towards her right here or it's actually probably the fire that she hatched her babies out of because this kind of looks like where she walks out of the fire and has the dragons uh, on her when she comes out of the fire so that's probably more like what this is if I had to guess, but isn't she absolutely amazing? Oh, there's some more ones right down here. There's a couple of ones. And it looks like that might be more of her hair right there. Because uh, it looks like it comes all the way down. And it's probably supposed to be her braid. Um, there's a couple of them right here. Just a couple right there on her dress as well. But I think that's all I see. Um, there's a few on her hand, and a couple right here on her hand, and right here, and then on her chest. So yeah, there, there's one scattered throughout. Anyway, let's flip it over. I'm not going to give you an up close. Uh, we know what the up close looks like. It's always excellent drill field, all that kind of stuff. Uh, let's just go ahead and look at the drills, because that's going to be the pretty part. Oh, and there is a black right there trying to escape the packet. Luckily, he's stuck in the glue right there on this little bag. There's a couple. Oh, there's a red escaping, too. We'll throw him back down in there. There's a couple of colors, 742. Oh, let's get you a little bit closer. We like to be a little bit closer. We can get a good look at the drill colors. There's 742 and 437. That's going to be some of your bright yellowy, flesh tony colors on her where she's on fire. Oh, there's a bunch of loose ones in here. There's 3770, 782, 436. There's one of my favorite colors, 597, a nice turquoisey teal white color, 947, and 738. And here is 300, 783, and Mrs. Coffee's favorite color, 666, and it looks like it's got a black hitchhiker hanging out inside right there. And then we got 415, 318, 350, 740, 741, 519, 739. There's our ABs, 129. It is a buttery yellow AB. And if you do not know what an AB is, it is the coating that you can see right there that's nice reflective rainbow like coating on the drills. It gives an extra sparkle when it is put on the drills or when it's put on your painting. Uh, that is AB or Aurora, Aurora Borealis. It is supposed to reflect the northern lights. I personally have never seen the Northern Lights, so I don't know if it really does, other than the pictures that I've seen. I'd like to see them up close and personal. There's a gray hitchhiker in there as well. Next color, 3855. Now, it is a Mandy Manzano, so you know there's going to be some blue tins, which are all going to be right here in this little section. We got 312. 307, 803, and here you go, 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six, six, three tens, and then there's a nine three nine, which is a very dark blue, almost blue black. So that was what seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, six three tens. Oh, but there are some very dark browns that are almost black as well. Let's start on this end. 435, 938, 400, 445, 3371. That is an extremely dark. I don't know if it's a brown or a gray, but it is almost black. Another 3371. 498, two of those, two 321s, 33, excuse me, 3760 with a hitchhiker, 3826, and there's why there are reds going everywhere, because this one is broke, so let's be careful out there, there's two 814s and an 823, and let's see if we can gather those up, I am going to pack these little drills up, Try not to lose any more red ones in the process, and then we will pull out the other canvas, and we'll take a much closer look at it because it is a new release. I'll be right back in just a moment, guys. Okay, y'all, I am back, and I went ahead and pulled this one out of the box so that we could save a little bit of time, and then they're dropping the, excuse me, we're going to roll a little bit. I managed to put that one up without missing, losing too many red ones. Well, I didn't lose them, but they did They did try to escape. Anyway, I went ahead and pulled this one out, so we go ahead and uh, save a little bit of time. As you can see, it is one of the newer canvases because it is rolled backwards and the drills are inside the canvas. This is the one that I got out of the new releases, Arctic Wolves. It is around with AB. It is 20 by 28 inches or 51 by 71 centimeters. I do like that they now put it in inches and centimeters. Um, it is 42 colors. I didn't, I have a bad habit of that. I'm not mentioning how many colors it is. One of these days I'm going to get that right and stop not mentioning it. Uh, but it is 42 colors and the ABs are going to be 137 and 128. Looks like it's a pink and maybe the white. I think 137 is a white. And this one's maybe going to be a pink light color, I'm assuming. I do see some of the whites where they're going to be right here already. That's going to be numbers 1 and 2, so we will look for those. This is the kit. And in case y'all haven't been noticing, Mrs. Coffee went over this too. This is something I've done for years because I have long fingernails. I have false fingernails. Uh, mine are polygel, not acrylic. I do them myself at home. But trying to open up these bags is usually a hassle when you have false fingernails. If you just do like that, I think she called it a snapping motion. But you just, you're basically pushing your fingers in two different directions. So it is kind of a snapping motion. But you're doing it with these fingers and I can't snap with these fingers I can snap with these but you're doing it like just pushing your thumb across that and it just pops these right open makes it a whole lot easier than trying to struggle with the ziplock since it is round it does not come with um, tweezers or anything you get your blue pin you get a three placer you get your blue squishy and the three placer does not want to go in the pin there we go. Two heart waxes, your clear boat with a spout, and then a little handful of baggies. And of course, it's not enough to get up your uh, painting with. It's more, um, if you've got all of your diamond art clubs out, you might be able to kit up one because you only get about five or six maybe in there. And there's always like 30 something, 40, 40 something colors on a painting. Never fails. So, I've been on a marathon filming tonight, and out of all of those filmings, I think I have put up two of the kits so far. <laughs> so I have ordered recently several of my uh, wish list items. Anyway, that's the sticker. And if you don't know, you can uh, cut these out with your X Acto knife or scissors. And when you kit up, put your number and uh, well, your 
code and your DMC number on your uh, items, uh, your boxes or bags or whatever you use to kit up. Uh, I personally have several different ones. I have Harbor Freight and I have Dare Reese and then I also have an old jewelry set which has boxes like this because I used to make jewelry. I have one like this and then I have one that has like the Tic Tac uh, type containers. Actually, I think I have two with the Tic Tac type containers. One is a small one with like 24 and then I have a big one, bigger one with like 48 or something like that in it. Um, but anyway, there's your sticker. Let's open it up and get it out. Now, if you don't know, wolves is one of my favorite creatures. Whoops. I love wolves. As far as animals, I love wolves and I love frogs. I love turtles. I love seahorses. I love um, dragons, which are not real. I love pegasus and unicorns. Um, you get your brochure with the step-by-step -step instructions, nine steps to diamond painting. Um, you can also uh, look for step-by-step -step video at diamondartclub.com slash instructions. Uh, every one of these has a 10% off your next purchase. But if you are a returning customer, when you get your little packing slip, which I have several of them sitting over here. I think I mentioned this at the beginning of the video. Uh, right down here is where you get a code for 15% off. Oops. So I've done back where I had them on top of my dresser where they're handy the next time I order. But that is your little instructions. Um, and then there's their little uh, information for uh, social media and their website. There's our drills. We're going to set them aside for right now because we are going to have a look at the wolves. Let me turn it this way. And with their glittery canvas, this thing is almost gorgeous without any drills on it. I can only imagine how beautiful it's going to be with drills on it. Now, like I mentioned, the ABs are going to be numbers 1 and 2 on the canvas. There are ones in the moon. There are, that might be the ones that I saw when I saw it on the canvas um, before I unrolled it. Let's see if we can find the number two is, I would say going to be white, 137, and then uh, one is, I'm assuming a pink color, since it is on a pink background. And I think it's primarily the moon and the mountains. It's going to be like sparkling in the snow. And then number two is going to be... I was hoping it's going to be in the wolf. But I'm not seeing it yet. Tickle its little nose. Um... Number two, where are you? Oh, that now has a song playing in my head, because did you realize what that sounded like? Number two, where are you? Scooby-dooby-doo, where are you? <laughs> yes, I'm a little bit delirious. I have been filming for several hours now because I had a whole lot of unboxings. That I got behind on because I had a migraine all of last week. That's why this new release was not re released yet because I got it in the mail and set it to the side. Not only that, but I have a compromised immune system. Ah, look at there. I'm looking for twos and they're right there. My fingers were on them. Right here in the mountains. There's twos there, twos there, twos there. So it's up and down in the snow right here in the mountains are the twos. So it doesn't look like there's going to be any ABs on the wolves themselves, which is kind of sad in my opinion because of course I want the wolves to sparkle and I might just make them sparkle anyway. Maybe put the tips of his ears in ABs. Wouldn't that be cute? A little bit on his forehead, a couple on his eyes, maybe a little bit on his nose. Give him some highlights. 
Let's see, I was trying to look to see if it might be over here in the mountain area, because these are mountains right here as well. But I don't think I see anything but ones. Oh, there's some twos right there. So yeah, there's twos over here as well. So it's in the snow on the mountains, it looks like, where the sun is probably reflecting on the mountains. There's a couple of twos right here, actually, and a few twos right here. So yeah, there are some twos elsewhere. So we don't have to find every AB. So in this one, I said I'd give you a little bit closer to look. So let's get down there close. And we can look at the wolf howling. You can even see his two little fangs sticking up right there. Get a little bit closer to that beautiful wolf's face. Up in the sky. You can see how beautiful the drill field is, how clear the symbols are, which is always the deal with Diamond Art Club. They have excellent canvases uh, with soft back. It's glittery, so it's pretty all the way around. It's pretty even without the drills, but it's so much prettier with the drills. Anyway, let's. I'm not going to bring you back up. I'm just going to flip it over, and let's go ahead and have a look at the drills themselves. Okay, let's just start with the least of these. We have 3853, get it right in the center of him, 993, beautiful color, 434, 991 with a hitchhiker, 3854, 797, ooh, there's pre purple, 155. 890, 3816, that's pretty green, 3817, 3860, 415, ooh, purples, 208, 333, love 333, 640, 838, 209, 3855, 3861 and 3023. Then our next strand, 820s. There are three packs of 820s. 775, 796. There are two of 3825, excuse me, 3325. And 3841. That's why I said 38. I was already looking at the next color. And then the next one 645, 310. That might be the only 310s on it. 648, 3609, 137. There's our blue ABs that will be in the snow. And again, the AB stands for Aurora Boy Alice. And you can see those beautiful sparkles that will just be so much more intense on the painting. 414, 413, 3024. There's the pink ABs that will be up on the tips of the mountain. 128. Kind of strange to think of pink and blue when you talk about white snow, but. It does have all those beautiful colors reflecting in it. 647, 3770, 939, 823, 3755, another 3755, 3843, um, I am probably, yeah, it is midnight. I have been filming since 8 p.m. It's probably why I'm sounding a little bit hoarse. I was going to go ahead and try and do a whipping chat tonight. I guess I'll probably do that tomorrow night. Um, I don't know though. It's a, it's Chicago nights. I might do that Thursday night. 
So you've already gotten two unboxings this week. You may get another unboxing before I do a whip and chat. Uh, I don't like to do that, but oh, wait a minute. I have an unbagging and tutorial that I can put up next. So not necessarily another Diamond Club, Diamond Art Club unboxing. So never mind. I'm going to break up the unboxings a little bit. Anyway, uh, this one will probably be the next unboxing that goes up after my whip and chat. Um, or I might do it before my whip and chat. Uh, and, and speaking of whipping chats, I do want to do a whipping whammy, whammy meaning who am I, as in who am I, Miss Kimberly. If you have any questions you want to give me, you can post them down below, or you can go on Instagram at KD's Craft Creation, excuse me, KD's Craft Corner. I keep on saying creation, maybe I'll change the name to creation. What do y'all think? KD's Craft Corner on Instagram. You can DM me there and send me questions, but if you have any questions about who I am, uh, why I started diamond painting, questions about diamond painting, anything like that. I'm going to do a little whip and whammy, and I'm going to answer your questions, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about me, um, about my illnesses, about the things I've been through, um, about fighting cancer, uh, depression, a lot of things. Um, I'm basically a walking encyclopedia of medical problems. <laughs> uh, surprised I can still play, laugh and smile, but I can Anyway, I'm also going to be doing a giveaway uh, for 100 subscribers with this bag. I've shown it several times recently, so I'm not going to go through that again. Uh, this would be a great little tool bag for somebody. Uh, so please, uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Click that bell so that you'll know the next time that I upload. Because I do not upload on a regular schedule since I do have some health problems. Sometimes I am just curled up in the dark and not wanting to see any light or hear any noises. Um, but yeah, click that bell so you'll know when I upload, subscribe, tell your friends about me, get them to subscribe, uh, tell fellow diamond painters about me. Let's grow this channel because I want to get to a thousand subscribers so that I can start being monetized and I can start putting money back into my YouTube uh, uh, channel instead of spending all of my money on the YouTube channel because that's getting rather expensive because these diamond paintings are not cheap. The Aliexpress ones are, but it's hard to find ones that are not stolen on there, and I'm trying my best not to put stolen images on my YouTube channel. If I do and you see one, please let me know. Uh, don't go reporting me. Let me know. I'll take the video down. I don't have a problem with that. Anyway, um, subscribe, uh, tell your friends, all that good stuff. If you are going to, if you think you will be joining the giveaway, there is a Google Docs down below. Go to it. Fill it out. I am the only one who will ever see it. It's just going to have your name, your address, your email address, um, your YouTube name, your Facebook name, Instagram name, stuff like that so I can verify who you are. And then if I draw your name, I will be contacting you instead of you contacting me. That way we won't run the risk of some troll showing up and saying, Hey, I'm Tammy Smith and I won your uh, drawing the other day and it not be Tammy Smith. It's just some troll wanting to get free stuff Because we don't want that around here. We don't want to go through what Stitcherie's done a few of the other Diamond painters have already been through so fill out that Google Docs because that is the only way that you're going to be able to win If I don't have a Google Docs, I will have to we for you. I will have to redraw uh, but I will give information closer to a hundred subscribers or closer to the time that I'm actually going to do that drawing on how you can enter. There's probably going to be something that you need to comment down below or something. Uh, but anyway, uh, do give me comments. Let me know what you want to see on this channel. Um, if you want to see me do a Diamond Painting 101, uh, the bare basics on learning how to diamond paint, starting to diamond paint, um, whatever you want to do, tutorials on anything, just uh, ask me and I will try to do it. Um, I also dabble in um, beaded cross stitch. I barely dabble in knitting and crochet. I'm not the best at it. Um, I have problems with the crochet hook because my hands are so large. Uh, the crochet hooks always dig into my palms the way I hold them so I can't crochet for very long. Uh, but I do uh, cross stitch and beaded cross stitch. I am attempting felting right now. Um, we'll see how that goes. I'm attempting it off camera first, but I'm wanting to try to make myself a Baby Yoda felted character, but we'll see how it goes. I have already done a little teddy bear head. 
it looked pretty good um, but maybe I'll show that to you in my whip and chat uh, who knows uh, but I am gonna try I'm trying felting we'll see if you see any if you think of any crafts you'd like to see me try let me know I'll do a video of me trying <laughs> trying that craft um, but anyway I'm always looking for new crafts to do but um, that's the end of this video I hope you enjoyed it please let me know down below nobody's really commenting on my videos yet so I'm hoping to get you guys commenting give me questions say some things uh, let me know how things go anyway if you made it this far through all of my rambling that's going on right now sorry about that um, I will see you guys on the next one y'all have a great night bye